Hello guys, welcome to our channel. So Google had already confirmed that Pixel 5a is in the works and will release in line with when last year's A series phone was introduced. Considering there were two A series phones last year, there was confusion whether Google was talking about Pixel 4a launched in August or Pixel 4a 5g launched in October. But now we may finally have an expected launch window. Thanks to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, who by the way is known for contributing Apple leaks, he says, Google Pixel fans, this summer is for you. Expect the Pixel 5a, the company's next generation lower cost handset to be announced and released in August. So this matches with Google's previous statement and we may finally see Pixel 5a in August. However, Google has specified that Pixel 5a 5g will launch only in the US and Japan. It's unclear if the phone's limited release will be temporary or permanent. We think the culprit here is the chip shortage. What do you think? Now for my regular viewers, you guys have already seen this so jump to next video but if you are new here or want to know the specs, well we will jump right in. It may feature a design similar to the Pixel 4a 5g. That's right, you won't notice a huge difference in the size, dimensions and the front and rear design. But there are minor changes like the punch hole will now be a little bit smaller. Thanks to 9to5 Google who found out that the radius will be shrunk from 65 pixel to 55 pixel. Also, the bezels are expected to be minimal this time as found on the leaked screen protector. And the Pixel 5a may be built out of the same textured plastic material used on the Pixel 4a series. The display size is expected to be a 6.2 inch Full HD Plus OLED panel with support for 90Hz refresh rate. So no changes here. As for the processor, well it will remain the same. 9to5 Google found out the codename SM7250 while digging through the Android developer preview 3. This is the Snapdragon 765G, the same chipset found on Pixel 4a 5G, so technically no speed improvement this time around. The camera sensors are also set to remain the same but you will find some software improvements including new HDR plus camera update and processing. We don't know much about the battery but it's said to be similar to what is available in Pixel 4a 5G, but we are hoping for a bigger battery than that. And as for the price? With Google using parts from Pixel 4a, we sure do believe the price could be lower than the Pixel a series phones. They should at least aim for below the $400 mark. What are your guesses about price? Do let us know via comments. Anyways, we are at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.